Hello, this is Andrew Klein. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some of the new UV unwrap features in Maya 2009. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use this model of a hand. Uh, the hand, as you'll notice, uh, currently has no UVs associated with it. Uh, and we're going to use uh, some of these new features to uh, help us unwrap an organic model like this one very, very quickly. Now, first of all, uh, the first step we need to do in this process is to assign some UVs to the model. Uh, the best thing to do in a case like this is to get the most even sort of planar projection you can that tells you the most about the model. Uh, I think that a projection from the top down or from the bottom up is really what we're after. So I'm going to take the model selected and I'm going to go into create UVs and I'm just going to choose planar mapping from the Y axis which will be from the top down and I'll hit apply and close and you'll notice that my projector now has projected this mapping straight down and you can see the result of the UVs here in my UV texture editor. Well, once I've got that set up, time to go work in a little bit more deeply on this. And um, the new UV tools allow me to actually cut apart my mesh based on edge selections, which is a very, very new feature here inside of Maya. Um, another feature which really couples with this very easily is the fact that in 2009, if I just double click on an edge, it actually selects a whole continuous border edge going around my model. And you can see that cut right here. Now that's going to be very, very beneficial to me in this, uh, in this process. So with this set up, um, I'm going to look at creating a couple of cuts here. First, I'm going to cut the top of the hand off from the bottom of the hand. Uh, then I'm going to cut off the thumb and then cut the thumb in, in half. So I'm going to end up, by the time I'm done, with the top of the hand, a bottom of the hand, a top of the thumb, and a bottom of the thumb. I'm going to unfold each of those out. Uh, and then I'm going to come back in and stitch them back together. So let's get in here. Uh, I'm going to double click on these edges. You'll notice I've got all three edges selected right up to my five point star. I'll hold down shift and double click some more. And again, and I've got a continuous loop cutting around that side. To cut these edges, I'm going to go into Polygons, Cut UV Edges. And you'll notice here that my display actually appears like it's changed a little bit. If that doesn't happen when you do this, it's because I've already gone into my Display Polygons menu, and I've turned on the Texture Border Edges element, which is going to allow me to see where I've made my cuts. I'm going to continue this around a little bit more, and I'm just going to double click on this continuous edge, just like we did a second ago, to cut off for the hand. And again, I will go to Polygons and choose Cut UV Edges, which will cut that one apart. Uh, and then to cut apart the thumb, uh, I'm going to have to cut straight through the middle of the thumb. Honestly, I don't want to cut all the way around this hand, so i got to be careful when I do this. I'm going to double click on this edge, which is going to make a very nice clean cut around the thumb for me, but I want to remove these three edges, so I'll hold down shift and just sort of remove these three edges outside of that little edge loop cut. And there we go, that's cut pretty nicely. Uh, again, I'll go to polygons and I'll choose cut UV edges. And now based on this, you can see I've got four cuts. This is exactly what I was after, bottom of the hand, top of the hand and my two parts of the thumb. I'm pretty much done there with my 3D view, but I want to keep it open just so we can reference what's going on here on the model. I'm just going to slide over my UV texture editor. I'm going to choose a single UV. I'll right click, I'll choose a UV. I don't know what shell I've got right now, so I'm going to go to select and choose select shell. I'll hit W for my move tool. And let's just move that to the side. There we go, that's a lot easier to see. Let's go again into UVs, and I'll go select, select shell. And I'll move that one out to the side for now. I'm being pretty loose with where I put these. It doesn't really matter at the moment. Again, I'll go select, select shell with another little UV group, and I'll move each one of these away from each other while I do my flattening. Now let's start off here with this section, which is the top of the hand. I'm going to grab each of these UVs. So I've dragged the selection over the entire shell, 
And I'm going to click on the new Smooth UV tool, which is the sort of third option from the left. We can also find it at the uh, tool menu in the UV Texture Editor under Smooth UV Tool. I'm going to go in the options box here, and for the best possible operation, I'm going to turn on UV space for this and hit apply. Let's use this new unfold slider, which appears. Notice that you'll have, as I move my camera even, this new little unfold box moves itself around, and we can reposition this wherever we want. I'm just going to choose unfold and continuously slide this out. You'll notice that as I keep going, it could go even further than I'm really after. But a couple of little moves is sometimes all you need. Now you'll notice with this operation as I keep unfolding that I'm really going to actually be able to take this maybe a little bit further than I'm after and it kind of disappears all the way. If I instead of using the uh, UV space component and switch this to world, uh, it really doesn't allow me to go all the way even past that. It kind of like stops at a point. So it's up to you which one you prefer. I can also come into my tool and choose pin borders. And this is going to make sure that only the interior of my mesh relaxes out. And that can be very helpful to counter some of that bloating that we were seeing a minute ago. I want to do that pin borders first and then again choose apply and close, turning it off. And then I'll try and unfold it, maybe relax it a little bit more. And let's see if we can actually get that better in UV space. It looks like it's about as far as it's going to go now. That's going to give me a lot of manipulations here that are really going to push this and flatten this out. Uh, I'm going to take these points now and maybe move them one by one to fix up their orientation here so they're non-overlapping. If I turn on my shaded selection, which toggles the shaded overlapping UVs, it can sometimes be easier to see where these UVs are overlapping based on their color. So I will pull these around so I get rid of any of that dark blue. And there we go. Looking pretty nice so far. Let's come over here to my other side of the hand. And I'm going to go to my smooth UV tool. And I can say unfold, but notice what happens here. It tries to turn itself inside out, which isn't exactly what we want. Well, instead of this uh, turning inside out, doing its own thing, we got to understand what's actually going on here. My hand, when I projected it, actually got projected the bottom side inside out because I was projecting from the top down. Before I start unfolding this, I'm actually going to select my UVs and go to Polygons and choose Flip Horizontally, which is going to accommodate for the fact that when I mapped this, everything was sort of upside down. And now if I try and unfold it, things start working a little bit nicer. And I can leave these right about here. I'll work with the thumbs, making sure that they fall into place. And now I've got four distinct shells, each unflattened very nicely. Well, we're going to pause for this video, but when we come back in our second video, we're going to take a look at how to sew these back together and get one nice, very flat unwrap at the end. So hold on one minute. This has been video one. Video two is coming up in just a second.